Now we've finished adding the code to create our author-driven narrative by animating the World Cup. Now I want to enable the reader to be able to drill down further into our data by using D3's event binding to enable interaction. While it's great to see the years animate by us in succession, it's very hard to compare one year to the next, especially if they may not be sequential. For example, if I want to compare what happened in 1930 with the World Cup with what happened in 2014 in Brazil, I would have to wait for the entire animation to go through or dig into the data myself. To remedy this, I want to add some buttons that correspond to all the years of the World Cup, where if a user clicks on one, it jumps to that individual year and updates the map. In this case, we're going to be adding some div elements based on the years of the World Cup. To start, we're simply selecting the body, appending a parent div with class years button, which is then going to contain 20 elements corresponding to every year of the World Cup. 